And welcome to Letters and Numbers, where our contestants test their alphanumerical skills against the clock. And we encourage you to do the same. I'm Richard Moorcroft, and encouraging me to at least try with the numbers is Lily Serna. Hi, Richard. Actually, when it comes to encouragement or inspiration, is there anyone in the, in the mathematical field that's inspired you? Well, he'll kill me for saying so, but my... Uh... Honours supervisor at uni. Uh, he's just an outstanding mentor and, yeah, I'm very lucky. Well, that's very good to hear. Welcome, Lily. And speaking of mentors and inspiration, David <laughs> Astall. <laughs> You're a mentor of words, you really are. You sure you don't mean tour mentor? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, when it comes to designing, you know, puzzles and crosswords and things which, you know, really are your bread and butter, is it all inspiration or uh, just a little bit of perspiration? Actually, if I could paraphrase the Einstein quote, uh, for me, making crosswords is 1% inspiration, it's 94% perspiration, and it's 5% accreditation. <laughs> it's actually nice at the end of the day, just like Einstein's theory of relativity, to know that was a DA crossword. That is the perfect combination. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, David. Thank you. And our contestants for tonight. First up, our carryover champion, Jeremy Shifton, here for his sixth and final night. Hello, Jeremy. Hi, Richard. Now, looking back over these uh, nights, particular highlights? I mean, I suppose there was the nine-letter word last night, but anything else? I think that and maybe the uh, conundrum can't remember, maybe my uh, second night here. I was I going got... to say, that was literally one second, wasn't it? Perhaps, something close, anyway. Incredibly <laughs> fast, anyway. Great to have you back. Thank and you. And good luck on this uh, last night for you. And Jeremy's challenger tonight is a professional cheesemaker, Clint Bransgrove. Hello, Clint. Hi, Richard. Now, cheesemaking, how did you get into it? Oh, it was just by chance, I think, but I have a love for the job and have stuck with it. Is it a really smelly job? I guess to, to an outsider coming in, it does smell a bit, but I'm just so used to it now. And do you have a particular cheese that, you know, is just the holy grail of cheese for you? I think a really bitey blue vein cheese. Can't go wrong. No. I'd have to agree with you there. Good luck, Clint. So a round of applause for our champion and our challenger, Jeremy Shifton and Clint Bransgrove. <laughs> the letters game, as always, gets us off the mark and, uh, Jeremy, please get us going. Can I start with a consonant, please? Certainly. F. And a vowel. E. And a consonant. H. And a vowel. A. And a consonant. S. And another consonant, please. D. And a vowel. E. And a consonant. N. And a vowel to finish, thank you. And last letter, I. Thank you, Lily. First clock. Well, first one for the night, Jeremy. How many? I have a six. And uh, what about you, Clint? Uh, seven for me, Richard. Seven. Let's start with the six first. I have denies. And your seven? Defines. Defines. They both sound good. Great start. Good. Uh, well done, Clint. Uh, now, I'd lose uh, my ticket in the Dictionary Guys Union if I didn't find defines, and that is the best to be found. A wonderful start. Lovely stuff. So, seven points for Clint. Time for you to do a bit of choosing now, Clint. What would you like? OK, I'll start with a consonant. Certainly. Let's start with T. And another consonant. N. And another. B. And another, please. Q. And a vowel. O. And another vowel. A. And a third vowel, please. I. And a consonant. S. And another vowel, please. And last letter, O. I'll start the clock.
Well, Clint, a bit of a tricky mix with that Q in the middle and no U coming up. How did you go? Just a five for me, Richard. And Jeremy? I'm um, going to try a risky six. All right, hold that for a second. Let's have the five first. Uh, boost. And your six? Taboos. No problem, David. Taboos, which is a Polynesian word. We know it's a, um, an adjective. It is also a noun, so therefore taboos is perfectly fine. Well played, Jeremy. Now, I ignored that cue because even with uh, if a U did come along, it was hardly likely to give me a long word. So ignoring that, I found a baton with, the, uh, with five letters. Then I found it obtain, and then along came an S, which is bastion or obtains for seven. So, nice work, David, and well done to Jeremy. Six points. Our first numbers of the night now. Our contestants have up to six numbers, the basics of maths, and just 30 seconds to generate that target number. And, uh, Jeremy, you've been very consistent. What do you think? I think the same as always, the family mix. Thank you. Thanks, Jeremy. That's too large and four small. And our numbers. Four, six, ten, seven, and the two large, 125. The target to reach is 362. Let's chase it now. How close did you get, Jeremy? I think I have 368. So, six off the target. What about you, Clint? I've got 362. 362, spot on. That sounds exciting. Take us there, please. OK, four times 100 equals 400. Four by 100 is 400. And subtract the 25, which is 375. Yep. And we're just 13 away, which is the seven plus the six. Seven uh, plus the six is 13. Take that away is 362. Well done. Great result, Clint. Well done. Great method, Lily. Would you have done anything different? I did the same. You did it the same way. It produced the result and it produced 10 points for Clint. So, Jeremy's on six. Clint is now on 17 as we head for our first break. And your first word mix for tonight, it's our spire. And the clue, better mother than the rest. See you in a while.